All right. So when I start analyzing, so uh, the first thing I do is uh, I look at all the questions I left out. So now the reason uh, that, and then I try to figure out the reason I left out these questions. So it could be that I don't know how to solve a question. Uh, so that, that, that means either my basics are wrong or I just didn't get the trick at that point. So if there is some sort of uh, a method to solve and I don't know what it is, then I look up the video for it or uh, look up at this, look up the solution and try to figure out how to solve it. Uh, but before that, uh, I, tr I try without uh, time pressure to solve all these questions so that I know whether I can solve it or not. All my viewers, the learners, everybody out there, welcome to this session by an academy. This is called Chamomile Tea with Toppers, an initiative by an academy. And once again, a very warm welcome to you all. I'm Shabana, Shabana Shahab. I teach VARC on an academy. Okay, so why are we sitting for this session today? See, guys, we have got a very spe special guest with us today, and his name is Ashwin, Ashwin Edge. He has converted IMA. Now, that is something to be proud of. He has got a feather in his cap. So in a moment from now, I'll be connecting you. I mean, we'll be taking him on over a video call and I'm going to talk to him. Hi, Ashwin, is that you? Uh, hello, hello, ma'am. Yes, it's me. Hello, hi, Ashwin. This is Shabana from an academy i'm a verbal ability educator and it's a pleasure to have you today with us first of all ashwin let's uh, let me congratulate you for your stupendous success you have converted ima how does that feel just let's start with that how does that feel in one sentence ashwin uh, it feels amazing man uh, i i've always you know dreamt of uh, honestly i've not even dreamt of ima so it came, uh, it was, a, I, I don't, I don't even have words to express how happy I am about it. And uh, just things just fell in place this year. Okay. Ashwin, what is your background? I mean, I'm sure that our listeners, our viewers would love to know your educational background as well as the place that you belong to. Tell us uh, about so that. I'm, so I'm natively from Kerala. Uh, but I was born in, born, in, uh, born in Kerala, but I was brought up here in Bangalore. Uh, I've lived my entire life here in Bangalore. Uh, I did my undergraduation, basically a uh, B.Tech from PES University, Bangalore in Electronics and Communications Engineering. Uh, I graduated in 2019 uh, and uh, I'm working currently in Cisco Systems as a network consulting engineer. Okay. Now... Ashwin, you said that you have been living and working in Bangalore. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. While you were preparing for your CAT, did this come as a roadblock to you? I mean, many people are there, many aspirants are there who are working. And I come across so many of such students who say that, ma'am, we are working. So, how do we do it? How do we do it? How, to, how should we take our time? How should we manage our time? Ashwin, what do you have to say about that? Uh, Ma'am, actually, I uh, started at the third year end. So I had actually started preparing for CAT 2018. Or uh, I started somewhere in January in 2018. Or 2018, I had a little relax with college. I had a lot of time to actually sit and prepare. Uh, I spent the initial few months uh, in college along with my studies where I actually spent, uh, you know, my major portion of my major part of the preparation was done there. The basics, sab tha. so I had a lot of time. Time ka koi nahi tha. And uh, I had a 99.36. Uh, I couldn't convert any of the IAMs. So when I tried again, my basics were already in place. So I just spent, you know, time with mocks. So utna zyada time pressure nahi aaya mujhe when compared to most students. But it's manageable. Uh, Saturday, Sunday prep is enough. If you've done your basics, you have So Ashwin, from what you are saying, I understand that you took CAT in 2018. 
then in 2019, right? So that was your second attempt that you converted. Yes, ma'am. Yes? yes. Now, Ashwin, that was your second attempt. So even when, even when you had taken 2018 gap, kuch to aapka percentage acha aya hoga. Why didn't you settle for some other eye? Kyun socha aapne 99.3 you said you got. Kyun aapko ye karna tha, ye jinoon kyun tha ki mujhe IMA hi convert karna hai. Why didn't you go for any other institute then? Aise nahi tha. I had a very good job. So it didn't make sense for me to drop uh, a good place to go to say a new IM. Jump average salary utna different nahi hoga when compared to what I already earned. Uh, and the second thing was that uh, I think last year when I wrote in 2018, tha. I thought I'll get into IIM Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Calcutta. And uh, so I applied only for the top six IIMs and FMS. And uh, after my per percentile, I could I had calls only from two of those colleges, both of which I couldn't convert. So Isal, I thought anyway, I have a good job. Ek aur baat try kar lete hai. My aim was actually Calcutta or FMS. Uh, because the my academics was not much. I have 86 in 10th, 84 in 12th, and 8.8 .8 in graduation. So uh, to even get an IIM Ahmedabad call, I needed 99.95. Yes. And I needed 100 percentile to get a Bangalore call. So I thought Calcutta has 99.67 plus. Uh, since I already had 99.36 in an attempt, I didn't do as well as I would have liked. So so I have to try it again. Ashwin, is bar aapke paas kitne calls hai? Uh, I had all calls except I am in those. Okay. Uh, D I Q A V A R C. What is your strongest point and what is your Achilles heel? Matlab sabse kharaab point. Uh, I was pretty good at uh, I think all three. I mean, at the starting, V A R C and D I L R. D I L R is my strongest subject. Uh, v A R C or point it's fluctuated. So, kabi -kabi tha, quant was my strongest, kabi -kabi VARC. Uh, in fact, quant was my strongest for long, I mean, was stronger than VRC for a long time, but final cat, mein, I had a 99.99 VRC. Uh, so, it works out. It depends, I guess. Over time, uh, I work on one subject that becomes a little stronger. Then I find, okay, there are a few more gaps in the other subjects and then work on that. So, I think overall, I was good in all three. Uh, my strongest was DILR. As such, actually, it's not a but in each subject, I had issues. Like, uh, uh, the quant, mein, my geometry was very weak. Or uh, VRC, mein, uh, I would never get those uh, complete, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Para-completion. Uh, kabhi, kabhi so, uh, but I was good at RCs. I used to read a lot. So my VRC in general was strong, but that is a couple of weak areas. Uh, overall, I was uh, solid in all of them. I mean, I was good at all of them. Okay, uh, I'm like happy to hear that part that okay, you used to read and VARC may overall you used to go for reading. I'll come to that a little later. Usse pehle, Ashwin, ek ye aap, ke agar, uh, see, just in 2019, mein, you didn't go for like any institute, ka, the regular classes, or an academy, ka bhi aapne regular nahi le. you just depended on the uh, videos. So basically, you were doing self study and self discipline, self motivation. How important is self-study for a student who is preparing for CAT? Uh, it's really important because, uh, see, cl coaching, classrooms can all take you to one particular level. After that, it depends a lot on you. Ki, uh, how much time are you willing to spend? How well do you spend it? Matlab, see, I can always study my strongest subject over and over again, but there's a limit you can get to after which you're not going to get. You have to find your weak areas and improve that as well. So CAT is an exam where strategy is also very important. And that strategy can be developed only on your own. Well, people can tell you how you know to strategize, but eventually it has to be tailor-made for you. Uh, I was, I'm good in one area, so I have to work harder in that. Uh, it doesn't make sense to just follow the herd in any way. So self-preparation is very important. Hota hai. And obviously, when you're preparing by yourself, motivation be, matlab, you have to motivate yourself to work harder every day. So it's a long journey. It's like a six month to one year preparation, depending on when you start. And uh, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. You, you take it slow. You go through each and everything. And consistency is very important. Hota hai and uh, that comes from, you know, if you push yourself. Okay. You have to let me break it down into very simple language. I'm asking for simple, simple for the benefits of the learners. 
uh, how many hours of self study per day would you recommend for the learners and tino subjects jo hai cat ke diqa and barc usko how would you distribute throughout the week like ye wala question mere paas aksar aata hai ashwin सिलेबस as in you've not gone through all the uh, subjects all the topics from each subject uh, then it's going to be a little uh, more time consuming so for me i think initially when i was preparing uh, i spent around 3 to 4 hours a day uh, again this was not every day because i had college and i really couldn't put so utna i made up on the weekends uh, so if somebody is strong in a particular subject i think you don't have to give too much time on it just mocks for analysis kafi hoga but uh, if you're weak on a subject you have to work so i personally put in uh, more time for font and dilr than verbal because verbal to my i used to read a lot so wo hota hi tha i don't even consider that as study time so as such preparation was only mocks and analysis but font or dilr me initially i spent a lot of time just covering the portions and then after that each thing i found uh, i was weak at us pe kafi time spent kiya maine i think uh, when i spent 2019 i spent around uh, an hour or two a day uh, again depending on the time so initially it was one hour afterwards towards the end i increased time uh, and uh, saturday sunday pe i used to spend a lot of time so i used to take a mock for 3 hours fir i used to analyze the mock if uh, the previous uh, mock which i had taken and uske liye lag jata tha 5 6 ghante so it depends on where you are preparing honestly there's no silver bullet uh, but i would say 3 hours a day is sufficient for anyone that scat is utna bhi mushkil exam nahi hai and spread it according to what you are weak at matlab usko zyada time do jo you are already strong at us pe thoda kam time doge to bhi chalega ah i hope all my uh, students especially mere jo students hai classes mein regular classes mein i hope you listen to that part you heard him say अश्विन ने कहा वी ए आर सी तो मतलब यू नो मैं ज्यादा पढ़ता ही नहीं ज्यादा उस पर ध्यान नहीं देता हूँ बिकॉज आई रीड अलॉट अश्विन मैं बोलती रहती हूँ स्टूडेंट्स को आई कीप चलिंग दम दैट यू गाइज नीड टू रीड अलॉट यू गाइज नीड टू रीड एवरी सिंगल डे टेक दैट एज अ डेली डोज एज स्टूडेंट सुनते नहीं आई होप योर सजेशन इज गोइंग टू बी टेकन सीरियसली बाय द स्टूडेंट्स नाउ कमिंग ओवर टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन यू मैं मॉक्स what is the right month when students should start taking mocks i would like you to answer this keeping in mind people who are freshers i mean first timers and people who are going to be repeat takers of cat kaun se mahine se hame mocks dena chahiye ashwin uh, so if you're a repeat taker i would suggest uh, starting again it depends is an answer because we're a repeat taker i started right when the mocks had started out that's in may june So this year i believe it's been delayed by a month but generally mocks start out in around may june so i used to, i started i took two mock series and i started from may i follow the schedule so that i attended everything on the during the window itself uh, but if you're a fresher uh, again i would suggest you at least start take one mock as early as possible so that you can diagnose where you stand for uske baad even if you find okay i have a lot of areas i have to work on and then come back in that's okay then even if you start in let's say august it's okay but uh, if you start in august then your uh, number of mocks you take have to increase so if you uh, if you start in may taking one every two weeks initially and then you can ramp it up towards the end to one every week or uh, if you're starting in august already then you should do two a week or maybe ramp it up later so it depends on when you start or when when you're ready to prepare but i would say start as early as possible uh, that's what i did so it it helps definitely as long as you don't burn yourself out yeah see you said that um, you had you started taking mocks as early as possible but then that was considering the point that you were a repeat taker right and aapne bola ki agar fresher hai to fresher ke liye still you can start by may june so acha uh, going over to the mocks how important is it to analyze the mocks because ashwin most of the students just take mocks for the heck of scores i have seen students do this 
दे टेक मॉक्स उनको स्कोर इसमें मेरा इतना आया इसमें इतना आया इसमें इतना आया दिस काइंड ऑफ मेक कीप मेकिंग अ ग्राफ दे नेवर सिट डाउन एंड एनालाइज क्यों रॉन्ग हुआ किसमें कितना टाइम लगा व्हाट डू यू हैव टू से अबाउट दैट इफ यू डोंट एनालाइज द मॉक इट्स एक्चुअली नॉट वर्थ टेकिंग अ मॉक सो मतलब इफ यू जस्ट टेक अ मॉक फॉर द सेक ऑफ स्कोर्स मतलब मे बी योर स्टैमिना इंक्रीजेस फॉर टेकिंग सिटिंग फॉर 3 आवर्स बट अदर देन दैट इट्स नॉट वर्थ इट व्हेन यू take a mock the main part is analysis because you want to see where you stand uh, are you weak in what area are you strong in which area uh, what is it that uh, you need to work on for the next week or the next two weeks or till you take the next mock that's how the mock strategy should be so if you don't analyze it's honestly not worth taking a mock in my suggestion you have to analyze it's critical For cat having the basic understanding of the concept can help you solve any problem. I have the ability to look at complex data and simplify it to understand what it is actually trying to convey. Having scored more than 99 percentile myself in this section, I can tell you how you can do the same with the right approach and a few shortcuts and tricks here and there. I will help you to increase your accuracy and take on this section more confidently. I am Riya Agarwal and I teach live on an academy plus. Okay so what you are saying is the feeling of competition which kind of egged you on during the journey and that uh, consistency consistency of course is a word which uh, uh, I keep telling my students they have to be consistent throughout otherwise it's of no use okay great great to hear your two traits any weakness ashwin which you were trying to overcome all those days i mean the weakness which was coming as a hurdle in your preparation and you were trying to overcome you know maps kyu ye pooch rahe ho kyunki hum sab ke paas weaknesses hote hain so maybe students ye sun kar ke many of them will be able to relate ki acha hamara bhi ye weakness hai so kaise ashwin ne overcome kiya let's also try to overcome bahut insecure tha main so i come from a tier 3 engineering college and the friends i had are outstanding profiles sab ke academics acche hain and they are scoring better than me to बहुत इनसिक्योर हो जाता हूं मैं आई एम लाइक यार वट एवर आई डू इट डज थिंग्स डोंट सीम टू वर्क आउट मतलब आई मेनी वे नाउ मतलब वो वाला फीलिंग आता था एंड दैट समथिंग आई थिंक पीपल एवरीबॉडी मतलब सबको आता है आई नो फ्रेंड्स हु हैव ब्रिलियंट प्रोफाइल्स हु आर डूइंग रियली वेल उनको भी आते हैं तो इट्स समथिंग पीपल शुड अंडरस्टैंड मतलब सबको होता है इनसिक्योरिटी एवरीबॉडी फील्स यू नो आई एम नॉट डूइंग वेल इनफ आई कांट डू वेल इनफ वो सब मेरे को बहुत आता था आई I really struggled with it. हर मतलब despair हो जाता है यार नहीं होगा मुझसे अब ये हो ही नहीं पा रहा improve नहीं हो रहा I'm stuck here accuracy is going for a toss but it's part and parcel I mean over some time it works. You know so at these junctures see ये तो बहुत common सी चीज है जो हर दूसरा बंदा face करता है that um, feeling of gloom settles on them कि भाई अब तो नहीं हो रहा नहीं it's time to kind of throw in the towel हम नहीं कर सकते हैं ये so in those moments How did you self motivate? How did you motivate yourself? करते क्या थे आप जिससे you were able to come out of those areas of gloom? I think I had a very good support system. I told you I had brilliant, amazing peers. Uh, I think that's something everybody should look at. You know, a good uh, group of friends who probably, if they're, I mean, even if they're taking cat or not taking cat, a good set of friends really help. फिर एंड वे माय पेरेंट्स आल्सो यार तुम चिंता मत करो इफ यू डोंट गेट इन दिस एयर कोई दिक्कत नहीं है यू ट्राई अगेन तुम्हें मिला नहीं मतलब कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता दे वर वेरी हैप्पी इवन व्हेन आई गॉट लास्ट टाइम मतलब कुछ मिला नहीं बट दे वर वेरी हैप्पी विद माय परसेंट आई बोल रहे थे तुम इतना लाए तू इट्स ओके तुम इतना मतलब यू गेट 90 एंड 97 इट्स ओके कोई दिक्कत नहीं है एंड यू नो यू गेट एनीथिंग इट्स ओके आई मीन दैट दैट काइंड ऑफ अ सपोर्ट व्हिच आई हैड फ्रॉम माय पेरेंट्स एंड फ्रेंड्स दैट वाज ह्यूज एंड उसके ऊपर आई गेस वो था कि आई probably could do better than where i am and uh, wo push tha eventually i'm like i really i'm at a good position now i know i can do better so that matlab i really don't know how to explain it honestly but it it just you know uh, it's that feeling where ab jo bhi ho ja matlab jo bhi hoga hone de it's okay but i will push on uh, okay. i think good to know that so you Uh, you are not the kind of person who will give up no matter how big the adversity is acha ashwin daily life mein aapki koi aisi habit like you know kuch log hote hain they are early risers kuch hota hai jo to do list banate hain some people have a strong belief system ya kuch priorities set karte hain daily ka any chhota sa bhi habit from your daily life 
which helped you in your preparation uh, i used to wake up very early in the morning so this was something i had uh, inculcated right from childhood it helped me during college also because i mean like subah 5:30 utke balti rakho to you get to have a bath early and leave but night becomes an issue in hostel so ye wala because of that i always wake up at 5:30 aur kuch karne ke nahi hota and eventually my cat prep my major portion of my cat prep happens at that early point in the in the morning so wo uh, one hour is very very useful early in the morning there is no distractions uh, i think that was a major uh, you know help for me other than that i read matlab whenever i get a chance uh, it could be a book something uh, an article on the on my phone i was i keep reading quora as well so i think that was another big deal it really helped me because whatever you know matlab 2 minute mile to i'm on my phone reading something on quora and my mother is shouting at me yaar tum itna dekho mat look around see talk to people but i mean i was that kind of person that two minutes i get even while maybe even ha- having lunch or something i'm on my phone reading for and my mom say you're always on your phone but uh, wo acha tha it helped a lot because i was reading all varieties of articles uh, i was following different different people and uh, that it's see i i was someone who always read novels but i can't always read a novel in my office or when i'm traveling and all of that right so things like this reading articles then there was this a uh, couple of apps on it so i started uh, reading books online things like that really helped me okay now let's move a little to the next part of your journey see you uh, cracked it with a fabulous percentile we all know that after that how did you prepare for your pi i mean were you like uh, prepared for it right from the beginning or ya phir baad mein jab ye aisa percentile aaya uske baad aapne kahin join kiya ya you started uh, scouring through those uh, Google sites, PI questions, what did you do? Uh, so again, we got, I got I I I I I got 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 I got I got I got I got a a a early, so uh, jab the key came out, I knew okay, I was going to get uh, calls from most of the top IIMs. So I कि कोई कोचिंग जाते हैं एंड आई वांट टू फाइंड ट्यून माय आंसर्स मतलब इवन इफ इट टेक्स अ बिट ऑफ टाइम तो आई स्टार्टेड प्रिपरेशन इन डिसेंबर इटसेल्फ आई जॉइंड एन ऑनलाइन कोचिंग सेंटर एंड देन वी हैड आई स्पोक टू दिस मेंटर ऑफ माइन वी हैड लॉन्ग टॉक्स व्हेयर आई वाज इंट्रोस्पेक्टिंग ट्राई टू फिगर आउट व्हाई आई वांट टू डू ईच ऑफ दीस थिंग्स सो दैट आई कैन आंसर एंड पीएस में इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू आंसर ट्रूथफुली बिकॉज़ देयर रियली सीनियर प्रोफेसर्स वुड कैच यू इफ यू लाइक तो it took a lot of practice and i started preparing right in december uh, my week area at that point was that i wasn't very well versed with current affairs so i used to read the newspaper but not rigorously it was mostly i i opened the sports page and things like that so that, i was that kind of a person never too much into uh, you know current affairs that was some one area i was really struggling at so i spent a lot of time catching up on current affairs and uh, then of course go back, going back to my academics Uh, i broke my preparation to phases so the first month or so was majorly uh, academics and then the next couple of months was uh, current affairs and personal questions and uh, it worked out i mean i had converts from most of the colleges so okay uh tell me one thing uh, we are talking about interviews so uh, i'm sure people want to know what exactly is it that the interviewers are looking for in a person i mean what is the purpose of this interview aapko kya lagta hai what is your take on this uh, honestly her interview mein one thing that i realize is they just uh, they don't come in with a set of questions they want to ask it, they're winging it they're trying to find out what kind of a person are you what have you done so far in your life why do you want to do an mba what is that what is it that motivates you how are you as a person so uh, the major areas they ask you is one is your background they ask you whether uh matlab it could be anything related to your academics it could be related to the place you come from uh, those kind of things uh then they ask questions based on uh work experience so i had only around 6 months of work experience at that time so uh work experience i didn't have too much questions because it was basically just about what i do at my workplace uh but yeah some people have a lot of if you have good amount of work experience they ask a lot of questions around that uh then they want to understand your hobbies uh you know what else do you bring to the table because 
they're looking for a student so they want to see somebody who's willing to learn who's willing to you know go the extra mile uh, when it comes uh, to classroom participation or everything i mean all of that okay acha tell me one thing one uh, very important question came to mind just now and i think i had missed asking you this uh you had appeared for cat for the first time in 2018 tab zyada dar laga ho right abhi 2019 mein to you were a little seasoned so utna nahi laga hoga now how do you stay calm on the d day because i have heard experiences of some students who were like very good all along ashwin and when they went to the exam hall on the d day they kind of got butterflies and then after that pura unka crash ho gaya so how do you actually stay calm and compose 2018 wala yaad karke aap hame batao so 2018 mein that had happened to me as well i had a lot of butterflies in my stomach i was very nervous तो बेसिकली ये था कि इट वॉज अ बिग डे मतलब आई बीन प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर अयर फॉर दिस वन एग्जाम थ्री आर एग्जाम एंड दैट प्रेशर डिट गेट टू मी तो ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन में आई थिंक इट ऑल्सो डिपेंड्स ऑन वॉट यू एक्सपेक्ट राइट वेन आई रोट कैट इन ट्वेंटी एटीन माई एक्सपेक्टेशन वॉज दैट यू नो आई आई वेंट इन विद लॉर्ड ऑफ एक्सपेक्टेशन आई वॉज आई कैन क्रैक इट फर्स्ट टाइम में ही मेरे को टॉप आई एम मिल जाएगा थिंग्स आर दैट 2019 में आई न्यू दर्ज अ लॉट ऑफ अदर फैक्टर्स वी कॉन्ट कंट्रोल मतलब यू कैन प्रिपेयर बट फाइनल एग्जाम में देर आर लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स यू कैन नॉट डू एनीथिंग अबाउट मतलब देर कुड बी योर स्ट्रॉगेस्ट सब्जेक्ट कुड बी अ वेरी टफ सब्जेक्ट यू माइट गेट स्टक इन अ प्रॉब्लम ऑल दैट इज पार्ट एंड पार्सल सो यू हैव टू गो इन विथ अ लिटल मोर ओपन माइंड कि यार अगर हो जाए तो हो जाए वरना कैट इज नॉट एक जेई ना देर नो रिस्ट्रिक्शन ऑन अटेम्प्ट यू कैन वर्क एंड यू कैन ट्राई अगेन दिस दिस आई थिंक दैट मेंटल एस्पेक्ट हैज टू कम इन टू प्ले वेर it shouldn't be like you know i have to get in here because you are necessarily building a lot of pressure on yourself and uh, who i i really don't know how to explain uh, you know how to handle pressure because it's different for everybody but personally for me i went in with reduced expectations i was like yaar kuch bhi ho jaye i'm writing again if i don't get in so i get in very good so i think that is one uh, thing people have to work on uh, like no one tells you this like you go to the exam and you're very nervous you're like okay i'm getting 95 99 in the marks mere ko is bar bhi mil jayega milna hai nahi mila to this that no that doesn't make sense you have to go in with an open mind ki mil gaya to bahut achhi baat hai nahi mila to i can always try again and cat is that sort of an exam you can keep trying again there are people who get in after four attempts but you get into a good college that's what matters definitely that was very good very well said uh, what works for one may not work for the other so you have to uh, students you have to just find out what works for you what makes you calm ashwin we were just discussing the mock analysis thing now uh, can you give us a sample analysis i mean let's let's just suppose that you have uh, taken a mock recently let's say two days back how would you sit and analyze it i need a sample analysis for you because more often than not my students are at a loss they don't know analysis hota kis kisko bolte kisko analysis so ashwin please try to give us a sample analysis all right so when i start analyzing so uh, the first thing i do is uh, i look at all the questions that left out so now the reason uh, that and then i try to figure out the reason i left out these questions so it could be that i don't know how to solve a question uh, so that 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 means either my basics are wrong or i just didn't get the trick at that point so if there is some sort of uh, a method to solve and i don't know what it is then i look up the video for it or uh, look up at the look up the solution and try to figure out how to solve it uh, but before that uh, i i try without uh, time pressure to solve all these questions so that i know whether i can solve it or not uh, that's the first thing i do second uh, so once i figured out okay uh, i couldn't solve x number of questions uh, that was probably because of time pressure the next thing i look at is uh, where did i spend more time now it's quite possible that there are some subjects where you spend a lot of time uh, you can get the answer but you spend too much time on it uh, so see catch an exam where you get three marks regardless of the how tough the question is so the point is to hit the easiest questions and get them right uh, so and so that hit the maximum number of questions so uh, my strategy while taking an exam also revolved around that i would first hit the easy questions then hit the questions which are slightly tougher and finally i hit the questions which might take a bit of time but i can get for sure 
and leave out and try to leave out the questions which I couldn't have solved regardless. Uh, so that's the kind of I mean that, that would have been an ideal mock, which never happens. You end out you end up leaving out a few questions which are easy, or you might have attempted a question which is tougher and you shouldn't have attempted. Uh, so those are the first uh, you know those are the for, I mean, those take a, a lot of time because you have to actually solve all the uh, questions, figure out, okay, this is the area where I'm uh, not able to solve fast enough. This is the area where I'm not able to solve at all. Uh, once you're done with that, uh, then I try to figure out which of the areas have done right. So you need to know what you've done right, what you've done wrong. So that next time, uh, so personally, when I was solving, one thing I figured out was geometry is not uh, my strength. It's an area where I'm really struggling. Uh, I would either not be able to solve the questions or if I solve them, I'm going to take too much time. So when, when it came to cat, geometry was the last thing I solved in uh, quant. Same way for verbal, I started with, uh, you know, the RCs. I would do five RCs, go to uh, the verbal ability section, come back to RCs. This was again because I figured out that I spend um, a lot of time on RCs and I miss out on those verbal questions. So I'd rather do five RCs go to the verbal, finish it, and then I can come back to an RC. Because if you don't read the entire RC, you're not being, going to be able to solve any answer. So I'd rather hit those uh, questions which might take a slightly lesser amount of time and then come back to it. So this is what the preparation should be. It's about your strategy. It's about knowing what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, and how to go about solving a paper. Okay, so on the D-Day, when we talk about the D-Day, Ashwin, a lot of us become underconfident. We start getting butterflies, as we said, fine. So what, what message do you have to give to the people how to maintain their confidence, how to stay like, okay, fine, this is just an exam, I can do it. It's not going to get the better of me. I have to be on top of things. What kind of message would you give? I think the first thing you have to do is, uh, I, what I did was one week before uh, CAT, I stopped all sort of preparation. The only thing I actually did that one week was, uh, I did I did analyze my verbal section, but other than that, I didn't spend any time either learning new concepts uh, or you know any of that, because at that point you're done. You really can't learn anything in one day or one week for CAT. It doesn't work that way. So you first calm yourself down, uh, you know, try and do something else. So I, I used to go to office, I used to play, I should basically not think about CAT at all that one week. You know, keep your mind away, keep your mind fresh. Two, you have to understand that CAT is not the end game. I said this before, before I'm saying this again. Uh, CAT uh, has a lot of factors you cannot control. The only thing you can do is hope that that, uh, you know, variance reduces by uh, the, your preparation. So uh, it takes, you know, what I did was I went to the exam hall and my hands were shivering. So I just sat, you know, took a few calm breaths. I told myself it doesn't matter whether I do well or not. Uh, I'm going to make it regardless. I mean, I'm going to uh, one of the top IIMs in June, regardless of whether uh, you know it's this year or the next year. So it's it comes down to you know uh, just trying to stay calm. You should know that there are uh, ways that you might mess up. It's okay, and uh, you have to keep telling yourself that. That's what I did, and uh, try and you know. Cat shouldn't be the only thing on your mind. It shouldn't be like, if I can't crack cat, I'm out. And that kind of a feeling shouldn't creep in. So try and uh, pull yourself away from uh, you know, getting into such negative thoughts. Okay. Uh, see, when we talk about questions, the actual layout of the questions on the D-Day, how do you prioritize? I mean, let's say, for example, I'm saying for verbal ability, we have got 24 questions in RC and 10 in the VA section. So I teach my students how to select like, okay, 20, 19 to 20 questions in the RC section. And then from the VA, they have to target the scorers, the score enhancers, uh, mm -hmm. some short summary questions or maybe three questions of PJ. This is what I tell them. How would you go for the breakup? And I want all the three sections so that my listeners, my learners can get that info. Uh, so uh, verbal ability, I was like I told you, I, I like to read a lot. So my reading was good. I could read pretty fast and I read well. So I knew that, uh, and there are 24 questions in RCs, which means it's a major chunk of the VARC section. That's where you have to hit them. And uh, so sometimes what happens is I might get stuck in RC for too long 
and uh, so you have to keep your ego away and you know you say it's okay if i'm not getting this it's fine i can leave it leaving questions very important cat uh, it's more important than actually you know uh, figuring out which questions to attempt it's more important to know which questions to leave and uh, what the strategy i followed was i started with uh, rcs i would do four uh, three or four rcs once i have just 20 minutes left on the clock i go to verbal because uh, in verbal again i knew out of the 10 questions i can get at least six in let's say 10 minutes so my aim was uh, if i have 20 minutes left go to verbal ability hit those 10 questions i mean hit those six or eight questions if possible all 10 questions and then come back to rcs uh, so this year the passages were pretty uh, you know tough to read and uh, it took quite a bit of a bit more time so i did uh, four rcs went to verbal a little earlier because i saw the rc questions a little tough uh, and then i did the verbal ability question so now the confidence increase i know i've done way more number of questions and when i came back to the rcs and then i solved all of them so i think uh, it depends on uh, people but i prefer doing rcs you might see okay 5 minutes 6 minutes down and you're not solved a single question but it's okay uh, it's comes from practice uh, and you know taking mocks so you know it's okay i can catch up later on and uh, for dilr uh, dilr i followed uh, a round strategy so i used to do my first round where i solve i look at a question i see whether i can solve it uh, quickly if i can i solve it then if not i'll mark it for review and go to the next set of questions like if i feel that i can solve it later if i feel i should leave the question altogether i leave it go to the next question and i never come back to it at all uh, so again there uh, you try so one what i the one technique i did was i used to leave one di set for the end because di sets you can hit one or two questions out of four for lr you have to solve the entire set so that you can solve each answer di set is something like you can solve maybe one or two questions in the last cup, last few minutes so i used to leave one di set for the end and then solve uh, otherwise so again i was somebody who used to solve a lot of questions in di lr since it was my strength so It, it's it help. I I would solve five six sets uh, on a good day. As for quant, uh, again, it depends on my weaknesses and strengths. One thing I figured out was my I was really weak at geometry. So my geometry questions were always at the end. Uh, I would start with picking easy questions, go for medium questions. After that, uh, look at geometry, pick the easy questions, and then go back for that last reading if I have time. Uh, so this is somewhat how I structure. so it has to be depending on your strengths and weaknesses you have to know where you're strong at what you're weak at and you should be able to uh, figure out which question you have to attempt which question uh, to leave so that comes from a lot of mock analysis and you know practice okay ashwin thanks for the strategy the tips the techniques and whatever the guidelines you have said for the audience and it's time for everybody to start following in your footsteps of course it's a different take for everybody but then theek hai one mold doesn't fit all we know that but fine uh, whatever you have said mujhe itna acha laga sunke to audience ko to definitely laga hoga all right now ashwin that brings us to a very short round which is called the rapid fire round okay in which i'm going to ask you maybe four or five questions and this is going to be totally personal so you are going to answer whatever you want you can answer whatever you want the first question that comes to my mind is related to your ambition i remember you saying that you are a very ambitious person okay how far does your ambition go is it elon musk and the mars mission or is it like a little less than that yes it goes as far as maybe elon musk and the mars mission yes Uh, so yeah i mean i want to put my own uh, imprint on the world somewhere and uh, whatever takes me there okay the second question if not mba what would you have done uh, i think i would have uh, continued what i'm i mean like working where i am maybe some day start my own startup i would have gone in that direction eventually okay the third one The third question for you, Ashwin. If you can go back in time, which historical character would you like to be, and why? Well, I don't know if you can call this person historical, uh, but one of my favorite scientists uh, and in general a great person, one of India's best uh, presidents. Uh, I'd like to be uh, Dr. Abdul Kalam. 
someday I really look up to. Okay. Uh, the next question for you, which is something that I ask myself very often. See, now uh, you are like, okay, fine, uh, you are a young lad. If you had to give one piece of advice to yourself, like, you know, maybe if you look back and if you see yourself as a 15-year-old boy or a 17-year-old boy, and if you have to give yourself a piece of advice, Ashwin, beta, aisa mat karo. Ashwin, ye seek lo. Abhi se ye karna shuru karo. What kind of advice would you like to give yourself? I'd like to learn a musical instrument. I think that's something I wanted to do then, but I couldn't. Uh, I thought it's too much work or, you know, I, I, I tell myself to learn that, you know, take that initiative uh, because you'll get time later on, but it would have been much better. Ashwin, those were lovely answers. You spoke well and those answers were pretty entertaining. Uh, in the end, would you like to share your experience with us on Camomile Tea with Toppers? I mean, we enjoyed speaking to you. What What did you feel? How was your experience? It was fun. Uh, I've watched a few CTWT videos before and uh, to be actually part of it is it's really great. Uh, and thank you for having me here. Ashwin, before we sign off, I would like to ask you to tag somebody else, any other achiever whom you know. It can, it need not necessarily be cat. It can be bank, UPSC, or any other achiever. Somebody who has got a story to tell. Somebody who can inspire our learners on an academy. Somebody whom we would love to talk to. Do you have anybody in mind, Ashwin? I do have uh, a friend of mine. He had a 99.98 in cat, uh, and he managed to crack I am Calcutta with. Uh, even with a relatively weak academic background, so I'm saying uh, he also had a hundred percent in verbal ability. Uh, fine. So uh, Ashwin here has stacked Soham, and Soham, I hope you're listening. We are going to meet you. I, I really look forward to meeting you in our next session whenever we conduct that. So Soham, I hope you can be an aspiration for the thousands of learners out there, and I hope we get to meet you soon. Thank you. Ashwin, any particular message that you would like to pass on to all the learners of an academy out there? Something that will help them sail through and move them towards their goal. Uh, I think the most important thing people have to realize about CAT is uh, it's not about studying long hours. It's not about uh, you know putting in a lot of effort on a single day. It's about a consistent effort over a set period of time. And CAT in the end is also has a big luck factor. So if you don't make it once because of ABC reasons, uh, don't be disheartened and uh, you know push yourself forward. There is always going to be a better day. So thank you so much, Ashwin. Thank you for your time. And I would like to sign out now. Over to uh, Ashwin. See you again. Hope to see you again. And of course, we are going to come to Am Ahmedabad to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's crack it, zor de laga. Let's crack it, ghed ko chhod de.